Junker Queen is a pretty cool tank who's a basic guide for your primary weapon is Scattergun, Pump Action Shotgun. Does more damage the closer enemies are because shotguns work like that. But it does decent damage from afar in some cases. Your primary ability is Jagged Blade, a throwing knife. If folks are impelled by it, as in direct hit, and you recall the blade, it pulls them towards you, which can be a big setup for other abilities to do a lot more damage. Folks hit by the blade, whether directly or indirectly, if it just passes through them, are bleeding, or in this case, wounded. And this gives you a bit of healing and also does damage to them. And the healing is based on your passive, which is going to heal you for all active wounds on enemies. And multiple enemies are going to be hit by the same ability, giving that bleed more effectiveness and healing you for even more. If the blade, Jagged Blade, is in your hand, you can also quick melee and apply the wound just the same. Your only defensive ability is Commanding Shout, grants you and your teammates over health. It gives you more than it does them, and it also gives you and your teammates movement speed. The ability does not last as long for your teammates as it does for yourself, so keep that in mind. Uh, I did not get slapped on that. He's, he's one of the players, you know? I lived Carnage Asada, the freaking axe ability, handheld the guillotine. You are slaughtering gamers like Paul Bunyan with an axe, okay? Folks hit by this ability take a ton of damage and are also wounded. And that wound, again, heals you and does damage to them over time. Now, your ultimate is Rampage. Charge in a freaking line after a decent windup. And this will bleed folks, cause wound, and also anti them. Anti means they can't get healing. And that can be a big deal. If they're already low and they don't get heals, they just die to the wound. When wounding people, you only get healing if they're alive and if the wound does not get cleansed. Now it's time to learn some DQ tips. The best blizzard is the cookies and cream and or cookie dough. When did Dairy Queen change the branding to grill and chill? There's no other questions. But for Joker Queen, I suggest you try your best to land a jagged blade with the intent of either messing up a player's movement or trying to pull a squishy target into you and maybe secure a kill in some form or fashion by doing a combo. Now, when it comes to the movement aspect, if you're playing against a Winston, a Genji, a Farah, a D.Va, if you leave your jagged blade inside of them, pause, and they try and jump away or fly away, you can actually pull the blade back to you, which it doesn't last forever. The, the blade will have a automatic recall time, and that will mess up their movement in some cases, securing you a much easier chance of killing that foe, that bad guy, you know what I'm saying? You wanna focus folks who don't have a ton of HP, like preferably 200 HP, so Zenyatta, most healers, uh, a lot of DPS. If you impale them with the blade, jagged, and you pull them towards you, you can either do like a shotgun melee combo and they're basically dead, or you can pull them towards you and have your carnage already attacking to where when they get to you, they take the full swing as well. And that will basically kill them unless they get healing. Commanding Shout can save your teammates from a Reinhardt charge. My sweet, oh Don't my worry, God. I'll save you with my death. It also gives you move speed and extra health, and that's massive during things like Genji Blade. Genji requires to get kills to get more value from his blade. The more kills he gets, the more dash he sets, the better he can get around and be slashing and dashing more fools. When you have more move speed and extra health, it becomes much more difficult to get full value from Dragon Blade. And you can also use it if you're about to get shattered. You can just be aware of what's going to happen. You know, you got, got, it shatter. got it on him. Or he acting like we haven't played Overwatch once, bro. We know when you got it on him. Carnage Asada, you can use this through shields, except for Zarya. So Reinhardt holding the shield, he's being all goofy, right? He's low or just want to do more damage. You can actually axe him through the shield. And try your best to hit multiple targets with Carnage, the axe ability, because it will deal more damage, building ult faster and also heal you for a bit more, giving you a little bit more sustain if necessito. After playing JQ in Ranked, I realized that she's pretty good on certain maps that have not super high high grounds, because you can hit folks with a knife, pull them off, and then boom, they're basically a free kill. I've also realized I don't like playing her on defense. You can still do it, and you can win games like that, but I think she's a much better offense character because her defense abilities it's like a 15 second cooldown. Aside from that, she gets self-healing and the self-healing isn't that good. Roadhog self-healing dunks on her self-healing and it's not even close. It's like a freaking, like a 500 like X increase. It's crazy. When using Rampage, JQ's ultimate, try best to hit as many squishy targets as possible. Folks around 200 HP, take 100 damage from the ultimate and also have anti-applied them, making it to where you don't have to do much more damage for them to just keel over and die. Do not underestimate the value of your quick melee when you have your Jagged Blade in your hand. Applying the bleed just by meleeing is a massive benefit, does more damage, gives you a little bit of HP, and if you hit multiple enemies with it, which you can, that's again, more damage, more HP, more ultimate buildup, and you're just playing the character a bit more like you should. Be aware of enemy abilities when you're about to ult because your ultimate has a pretty long 
wind up. It's very visible, very transparent, telegraphed, easy to interrupt and cancel with things like Arista Javelin Throw, Roadhog Hook, and a Sleep Dart, even May Ice Wall. Nah. Oh my God. Be aware of these abilities and their cooldowns during fights. Oh, Kiriko just used Protection Suzu. I can just go ahead and be free. I can use my ultimate and she won't get back in time to cleanse anything. As like a 14 or 15 second CD. Once they cleanse, I ult. She cleans. Oh. Oh. Oh, so be cautious of that. Subsequently, if you don't want to do that kind of stuff, aside from the Zuzu or Zarya bubbles, you can also be like, hey, Kiriko, can you Suzu me while I'm about to ultimate so I can't get knocked out of it? That's also a pretty massive play right chair. The most detrimental ability is Suzu because it can cleanse the bleeds, it can cleanse the anti, and it can also just make it so you don't get hit by the ultimate at all in general and saves her the hassle of having to heal her teammates. But she can do that to just get ult charge if she wants to. Big mind games being played here. When it comes to matchups, I do not like playing against Reinhardt because of his shield, Sigma because of his shield, Orisa because she can just spear me. It's not a terrible matchup, but Arissa's pretty tanky. Roadhog is very good versus Trucker Queen. You hook her one time, blast her, and she's not dead, but she's close to it. You can pop Roadhog ultimate during her ult if she's about to cast it and knock her back the whole time. She's going to go nowhere. How does that hit me, dude? What? You don't get a whole lot of value playing Trucker Queen in a Roadhog unless you're just simply better. You can still win that matchup, but it's just rough. And he's also hard to kill because he has so much HP and he has a self heal. Zarya, she can bubble my freaking bleeds, bubble the anti for my ultimate. She counters me pretty hard. It's a little annoying. Ana, she can anti me, or she can anti Jekyll Queen, and you get no value from your self healing, and you just die because you're, again, you're a very easy target to kill. You only have 425 HP. You have no armor, no shielding, none of that stuff. Uh, Kiriko, she can Suzu all your stuff. She can shift away and I think drops the knife, which is the bleed, so she can negate all your abilities without even trying half the time. And then Torbjorn. Random pick, but it's annoying to kill his turret as as uh, Joker Queen. You don't have range, really. And he just has free value in that regard. And also, he can merc you in, in a sense, because he's, he's a shotgun too, and he can get over health. He has armor. He's a bit tanker than usual, more HP, and he gets movement speed. So he can be a little rascal to deal with, if you ask me. But that is Junker Queen. What do you think about her? Is she fun to play? Will you be trying her out with these uh, newfound knowledge that I have bestowed upon you? Do me a favor, leave a like on the video, comment if you want to, it helps the channel a ton. And who should I make a video on next? I'll make a poll on this uh, community tab for YouTubes. But aside from that, y'all have a beautiful day. Catch you later. Peace. All right, thanks. Wait.